This is number 20 on the AccuPlacer, and this is a visualization problem. So um, we're not going to do any calculations. This is where you have to read this word problem and understand how it works. So what I've done is I've made a little prop for you, just so you can see. So you can see that I made a little cutout of this triangle, and it fits on here. So let's see what they're asking for you. A triangle, P, Q, R, lies in the X, Y plane, so X, Y, and the coordinates of vertex Q, that's this one, are positive 2, look, 1, 2, and then the Y is negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So that's the coordinates for this point. Now, the triangle P PQR is rotated 180 degrees clockwise about the origin. So the origin is right here. That's the center of the coordinate plane. And so what they're doing is they're saying that you're rotating it. Now here's the one, this is where people make mistakes on this. They're saying clockwise, clockwise. A clock goes in this direction. The hands of a clock go in this direction. This is clockwise. The opposite is counterclockwise, which would go in the opposite direction, which I'm not going to show you because I don't want you to get confused. So what we're going to do is we're going to take from this point and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Now, 90 degrees would just be that. That would be where you shift from one box to another, but they're saying clockwise 180 degrees. So watch this, 100, that's 90, 90 plus 90 is 180. So that's where we get when we rotate it 180 degrees, but it doesn't stop there. Then they say that it reflected, it's reflected across the origin. So that means that it's going to be flipped from this side to this side. So you know that when you look at a reflection, the top and bottom stays the same, but the things in the reflection get flipped left and right. Because when you look in the mirror, you're not upside down. You're just flipped to the opposite left and right, not up and down, because you're not standing on your head in the mirror. So watch this. I take this and then I flip it over to there. And what I did is I wrote the, I just copied this triangle on both sides. So we rotated 180 degrees and then we flipped it over. So now we have the Q coordinates are the X and the Y. So X is one, two. So we have X of positive two. And then the Y is one, two, three, positive three, which is letter D. So this one, it's a visualization problem. Now, if you want to remember it, you can look at this rectangle and flip those rectangles over. So you would take this rectangle that's on there. This is the original, because it wasn't reflected yet. You could take that, you could take this rectangle and then move the rectangle here. So you have the rectangle here, and then you have the rectangle here. And then once you're here, you flip it over. So it's the opposite of the way it was before but the P still at the top. Let's go back over and show you. When I flipped it over, the P is still at the top, even though it is upside down from this rotation. So we have P on the top, Q still stays next to the Y axis. So when I flip it back over, Q is still next to the Y axis, and the P, which looks like a different letter now, but you know it's a P, still is at the top.